Hi, my name is Scott, and in this video, I'm going to continue the setup debate that I started in yesterday's video by giving a 1AR in that same setup debate. So this video is meant as a follow-up video to the video that I put out yesterday that was a setup debate video that explained what setup debates are and then gave an AC and an NC in a setup debate. If you haven't watched that, I recommend watching that now because it's probably going to make a lot more sense of what I'm going to say in this video. So if you want to pause, I'm going to put the link in the description below. If not, it'll be at the end. Um, but this video today is going to be me giving the next speech in that debate, the 1AR, because in the in one of my classes that I had yesterday, some of the debaters were struggling, and when I offered them the ability to see a sample of me giving a 1AR, they all kind of jumped at it. So I thought that this video could be really good in just getting the next speech in the debate and also seeing a sample of the speech that you tried to give after the AC and NC from the previous speech. So essentially this is just the next speech in that same setup debate. I think there's three basic ways that you could use this. First is a sample. So go back and give the 1AR from the video yesterday and then watch my 1AR. What is different about it? Is it good? Is it bad? Are there things that I covered? Are there things that I dropped? Use my 1AR as a sample for your 1AR. The second thing you can do, critique me. Are there things that I did bad? Were there word inefficiencies that I had? Were there parts of the debate that I could have been quicker or more fluid? Things like that. Was Did I read wrong cards? Was I not strategic? Should I have changed the way that I handled one disadvantage? These are all things that are valid critiques that you could use from this video. The third thing that you could do, and the obvious thing, is to just give the next speech in this setup debate. So the way that this works is that now you have the 1AR, you could do the same setup debate, but set yourself up to give the NR in this debate. So now you could use this as an extension to give the NR where you would go for one or two or three of this of these disadvantages that people have read against the Starlink app that I created and see what you think afterwards. Do, does you giving the NR change what you would do in the NC? Would the NC have been drastically different strategically if you would have included a counter plan? Would it allow you to analyze the different components of the components that made up the speech and not just the artifact of the speech itself. So that's really what I think that you could do to utilize uh, this speech that I'm about to give. So you are about to hear a 1AR from me. Um, I do read a couple of cards, like four and a half in the 1AR. The evidence that I read is going to be linked in the description below. So get out some flow paper, uh, get ready for my 1AR order, which you should hear right now. All right, so the 1AR order is Contention 1, Debris, Contention 2, Asteroids, the Russia Disadvantage, the Democracy Disadvantage, the agriculture disadvantage. So debris, asteroids, Russia, democracy, agriculture. Is anybody not ready? The debris contention mega satellite constellations exponentially increase debris with irresponsible actors at the helm, which increases collision risk from miscalculation from collisions with Russia and China early warning satellites, which could cause first use of nuclear weapons from a great power, which outweighs the disadvantage. Though NC1 is the faint evidence, its first is that it's irrelevant because we don't have a Kessler scenario, so there's no cascading, and that would be irrelevant to our miscalculation internal link second is this evidence is outdated and says huge volume of satellites is an issue in 2017 doesn't assume starlink where tens of thousands of satellites are going to be launched nc answer number two the analytical argument miscalculation will happen and causes a preemptive first strike from china and russia you should prefer our scholars zenko and lewis evidence that are scholars in the field over their analytical argument because lewis is a leading arms control scholar from that is a professional 
professor at Middlebury University. Asteroids contention. Starlink destroys key telescopes like the new Rubin Observatory's ability to detect asteroid the Earth destroying asteroids and put streaks in the images of the apertures of these telescopes during astronomical twilight, which is key to prevent extinctions that destroy the Earth. This is our fish evidence that it would cause extinction with 100% probability from that asteroid coming, which outweighs the negative disadvantage under Bostrom, which they conceded. NC1 is the Walker evidence. Extend the AC Dryer 21 evidence. Low probability, high magnitude impacts do occur and should be preferred and may not be so distant covid proves two is the chances real only a third of asteroids have been detected so far extend dryer so we don't actually verifiably know that this is true earth could be destroyed by an asteroid extend our couple of evidence that extinction from an asteroid would outweigh and the disads don't take this into account the russia da there's no uniqueness in the disadvantage for a reason. There's no uniqueness or link uniqueness. Biden is a gift to Putin and has a pattern of appeasement lake in 1217. Biden invited Putin to NATO, the alliance he seeks to break apart. Biden's policy makes Putin's troop build up on Ukraine cost free. Biden's approach is a pattern, is part of a pattern. Biden appeased Russia during the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, stopped enforcing sanctions, held off on pushing Russian hacks, call for appeasement. Biden's presidency has been a gift to Putin and the NPC, NPT historically fails and can't stop widespread prolif sophie 18 non-signatory states are not required to comply with the treaty the inability to forbid north korea to produce nuclear arms the lack of international reaction to this both india and pakistan have not signed on to the npt the democracy uh da first is that their link evidence takes out the scenario because the starlink terminals would be banned which means they inevitably don't have access second elio broadband constellations entrench the internet power of oligarchs turns the da song bloom 20 Elio constellations raise concerns for the entrenchment of global internet oligarchy, which increases inequality and disempowers citizens. Third is that there's many alternative causes to democracy that Starlink doesn't deal with. There's no reason Starlink is key. Last, the farming agriculture DA. First is there's no uniqueness to this and there's no link uniqueness to this argument because agriculture is not decreasing or collapsing now and they have things like cable internet. Second is that Elio broadband causes rural infrastructure disinvestments in telco, which turns the disadvantage. Song and Bloom in 20. LEO constellations have the potential for future abstract internet service that disempowers domestic infrastructure. Most people will not be direct consumers of LEO services, but will instead need to rely on telco building infrastructure and using LEO as a backhaul. LEO constellations ultimately create disincentive for investment in rural connectivity. And farmers don't need satellites. Byron 17. Centers can be ground, aerial, and satellite. Ground centers evaluate nutrition levels or, or moisture content. Aerial sensors... Thank you, and please vote for the affirmative. So that was my sample uh, 1AR, and I hope that you can either use this as a sample for yourself from the video that I recorded yesterday, or can use this as another speech in that setup debate and can give an NR from this. So again, thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful, and I'll see you next time.